bad day for Harold. Harold the helicopter loves flying. Up in the bright blue sky over the island of Sodor, he looks out for anyone in distress. Sometimes he delivers the mail. This makes Percy very cross. The mail run is done. Is there any more? I can deliver it for you in a jiff. That's what friends are for. Delivering the mail is an engine's job, said Percy grumpily. Percy has many jobs, but carrying the mail is his favorite. It makes him feel really useful. It makes him feel really useful. The next morning, Percy was happily pulling the mail train. Must be on time, must be on time, he chuffed. But up ahead, there was trouble with the signal box. It was broken. The signal engineers did not know how long it would take to fix. Percy had to stop. It's not safe for engines to run without signals. But Percy was very upset. I'm going to be late, he cried, and it's not even my fault. Be upset. I'm going to be late, he cried, and it's not even my fault. Sir Topham Hatt was in his office enjoying his toast and marmalade when he heard the news. Percy is stuck at a broken signal. Then Harold must take the mail. Poor Percy was still waiting and still upset. The last time he was held up, the mail was given to Harold. It made me feel like a really useless engine, he sighed. Well, the mail must arrive on time, said his driver. Just then, they heard a familiar sound coming from above. Hello, said Harold. Sir Topham Hatt says you need my help. That's what friends are for. Oh, no, cried Percy. But Sir Topham Hatt had made up his mind. There was nothing Percy could do. Percy's driver helped load the mailbags into Harold's cargo net. Maybe we should take the mailbags a few at a time, said Harold's pilot. They're very heavy. I'd have to make too many trips, and then I'd be as slow as Percy. And so they loaded all the mail into Harold's net at once. And the engineer continued to work on the signal. Just as Harold took off, a signal engineer cried out. It's fixed, he said. Wait, Harold, shouted Percy. I'm ready to go. But it was too late. Harold had already taken off. Percy watched the mail disappear. He was upset. Percy watched the mail disappear. He was upset. But then they all heard a strange sound. Watch out for those trees, Harold, cried his pilot. My net is too heavy, wailed Harold. Harold is in trouble, Percy cried. We must try to help him. Are you all right? called Percy. Just get someone to put me out of the haystack, sputtered Harold. And Percy did, as fast as he could. The next day, Harold's engine was fixed and he was flying again. Percy was very pleased to see him. Want to take the mail, Harold? Percy teased. I'll stand by with the rescue team. All the engines tooted, and Harold hovered so low that only Percy could hear. Thanks for getting help to pull me out of that haystack, my friend, he said. That's all right, said Percy. That's what friends are for. 